hello and welcome to my channel I want to announce that I am on another design team and it is Tsunami Rose Design and her uh, shop is TsunamiRose.net she is here on the YouTube she has a Etsy shop and I want to show you some of these wonderful digitals that she has it's all digitals but I do know that if you don't have a printer or anything like that you can talk to Daisy and she has a process that you can I'm not sure how to do it but she has a, uh, a part where you can have them have her print them out and send them to you so you can talk to Daisy about that if you want to get the, here it is print order and service so you can get it that way and there you go see and then she has all these journals she has journal kits that's got the nine yards she's also got um, bundles let me see if I can find it she's got journal supplies if you like journals you know you got all the little things she's got words she's got um, bingo cards she's got flowers she's got all little embellishments labels she's got it all guys she got it all she got it all and then if you want to see her junk journal bundles I'm gonna pick one I believe I have one of those this one so I'm gonna pull it up and show you and look these are what they look like and they are beautiful I love the mason jars and these are library cards it's it's a bundle and it comes with this is a uh, art uh, the shabby chic spring spring flowers but guys it has everything it's got envelopes tags the journal pages embellishment she's calendar I mean it's it's all there and it comes with let me see I don't want to quote I don't want to say anything if I don't really know it's an instant download two PDF three zip files containing 52 PG files and guys it's got 12 journal on page six calendar cards three pocket pages 16 uh, envelopes insert pages, three giant mason jar pages, six library cards, card pages, and telegram card pages. Six. That is a lot, guys, and that is 22, 2206. And you, it says here it was 25.95. You save three dollars and eighty nine cents because it's fifty percent off. Guys, please go check. Daisy's uh, Etsy shop out it is called Tsunami Rose now let me share what I made for my design team project let's move this out of the way Ugh. here we go of course I made a journal and here is my cover and I made the cover I altered a uh, book as you can see I altered it and I painted and did all my little lovely stuff and then I took uh, things that belongs to Daisy's Digitals and just you know what do you call it? layered them up so I got her some tickets of hers I have her flowers I have her images I have her beautiful fan and a flower down here and that's pretty much what I wanted to make it plain simple on the front then you have here I have some beads and then the back is like this oh I got that turned wrong but it'd be okay and then I had made a key uh, a charm to go with it and guys I want to say one thing I need to learn to do because I always make the cover first and then I do the pages but lately I can't stop decorating the pages and this is what happens this is what happens guys I don't know what's going on this is what happens 
so I literally have to tie it, hold it, and open it up. So let's get inside. And then we have here. I put a everything is pretty much daisies in here. I didn't add no other digitals, just daisies and coffee dye and papers and all you know, all different kind of lace and stuff like that. So I made a book um I made a um belly band and these are her digitals. They are laminated that you can write on them with the you know the um, the eraser markers I don't know what you call them and you got the things to do the monthly planner this week Monday through Sunday and you got the notes and on the back you have to do the dates ideas the do list and then you have here the weeks with the dates and then back here you have things the part the, the best part of the day is you know like little things you to remember you know all those lovely goodies that we all should start tracking and then here I just did a little kind of belly band elastic belly band and I put a little journal kit in there little journal just something simple to write in so I have that in there okay and then that's the back and on the back I have one laminated that you can write the date you know can keep writing on it just erase it and you can do some journaling back here and I also may just just put one of them in there just for journaling I thought that would be cool so let me squeeze that back down and in this page there's a page here I, I mean a pocket and I just put one of her file folders put some uh, coffee dye paper in some of them not all of them and you can use it as writing and did I get in the page there's the page there you go and then I have here a coffee filter that I dyed coffee dye paper that I dyed and I made some ruffles on the edges here's one of her pockets and one of her digitals and here's another laminated one here another spot to write more writing here I just decorated it up I love these images because she's got plenty of them and then here is another here's a journal and uh, uh, just tag and then I made this is one of hers Okay, and it looks, I don't know if I have one right here, hold on. Yes, I do. It looks like this, but I just folded them in half. Just stick it inside that pocket. And then put some lace on it. And in here, I have a little tuck spot. And then I just put coffee dye and stitch the book, stitch this um, image up. Here I poked a hole. This comes off if you want, and it's just some eyelash trim and some space to write in. And I thought that was kind of cool to use. And this is one of her images. Just one of her journal pages that I just put in as a pocket. And then here another file folder. And then here I made a pocket on here. This is one of her corner pockets. And then another laminated. And this is one of her digitals that I just put some trim on it. And just used a different kind of paper that's kind of like uh, sparkles in it. Oh, is that connected? Yes, it is. Then here I got a pocket. And I didn't put nothing in there. But you know what? Let's just put one in there anyway. Something in there. And I'm just going to take one of these. There you go. Just to put in there. To show that that's a pocket. 
And then here, I told you I have plenty of spaces in here, but I also wanted to decorate it. So here's a pot, uh, and I used this as a, this was a bag, and I made it like a pocket and used her images, and then used another one of these for journaling. And then on the back, I have another one of her pockets with a tag. And here another another digital, and then another file folder. And then here, I don't know why I did it this way, but I realized that I made this is too heavy and the paper is very thin. But whatever. So here, and then I did one of the, you know, backed it up with coffee dye. And here's a little coin envelope. And this is uh, Daisy's Digital. And then here's a pocket with an envelope. I mean, envelope with note card. And then another image. And I think this envelope is beautiful. Okay, then here's one of her images. And here's an image. And then this is one of her digitals. And then I put some ruffles that I stitched and just made it a tuck. Another file folder. I just made kept it plain. Another bag. I didn't do anything to it. I just realized that I missed it. Here's a coffee dye. And then I made one of these little edges. And it just opens up. And it's a hideaway journaling spot. And let's see if I can get that back together. There you go. Shove it in there. There you go. I thought that was kind of cool. Then here a pocket with some journal and paper. Dotted paper. And then here another image. Aren't they pretty? Pretty. Another space for journaling. And I did do stitching on these. Because I made them as pop, uh, these are two sheets of paper. I just put them together and stitched it so you can see something on both sides. Two of her digitals, I mean. I got tracing paper or vellum, I don't know what that is. Another image, uh, pocket, and an uh, uh, a tag with eyelash trim on it. Nothing in this pocket. And then, oh, I didn't put nothing in that pocket. It looked like a pocket, uh, thing in the pocket, but it, I only put that on there because this paper's so thin. So this is a pocket, so let's put another one of the, another, uh, guest checks in it. It's there, so let me put it in there. And then I have some eyelash trim on here. And I have one of, um, Daisy's corner pockets. And then here's one of her envelopes. I think these are so cute. And then I have back one of her uh, images, cards, and then stitched it around. Here has some stitching on this card, on this uh, image of hers with coffee dye. And then here's one of her little fans. And I adore those fans. And then another image. Another file folder. Has stitching up and down on it. And that's one signature. 
Here is the second one. I love this butterfly. Here. And then here's the back. And then here's one of my pressed laminated flowers, a butterfly pocket, and a images from Tsunami Rose Designs, Daisy's Digital. And then here's another one. Here is one of her images. Backed up on cardstock, and I just put some some writing paper there. And I have this little butterfly, and then here I just did the pressed pressed um, flowers. You can write in there, and you can put this over, or you can just keep it like that. That is so cute as it is, and you can do some writing. I'm learning how to do this. I don't even know if that's right, but yeah, it's good right now. <laughs> then I got the, uh, some trim with her image, and then another the, and then here I put some paper in it in one of the file folders. And then slide it in there. Then I have did this one and then did a little tuck here. Then another one. Oh, upside down. As you can see, I did a lot of sewing in this one. And I'm not a good sewer. And then I did trim in here trim here. Another the image, another file folder, same one, because I made two of each. Her flowers, and here I just put in some postcards, because they could be used as journaling cards, or you can even put images on it. Here is an, one of her little um, female digitals. another envelope this is the center of a signature some, some of her um, die cuts just a blank pocket and here's one of the hideaway journal and spots you got another one of the file folders in here this one doesn't have nothing in it right correct it's nothing in that one another tuck spot with some trim here is one of her images ephemera or journal and card and then this is the inside of that one that I did here this was in here no it wasn't no it wasn't this was a different one my bad I'm sorry and I saw that I just wanted to use it I think I end up cutting it on the wrong paper. Maybe. I don't know why I have it. But I have it there. And I thought it was nice. I said, let me just add it in there. Another pocket. I mean, another envelope. Another pocket. Another journaling card another pocket that I didn't finish and another file folder and then the back I just left plain and you know what let me see if I can do it see if I have one here yes I do let me see if it's one that I can use because I constantly forget this and I don't think it's a sticker one. Nope, but I can get one. Hold on.
I have my stickers. I always keep forgetting to punch them out and put them on my project. So since I remember now, let me just put it on there. Because we need to put our name on our projects. And I honestly keep forgetting. Ugh! I can't get it open. There you go. It says, Handmade by Tina Loves to Craft, Tino, Tina Mohamed. And I'm just going to stick it back here. There you go. And that is my design team project. Daisy, I hope I did your, temp, your digitals well. And guys, to be honest, I don't know if I'm going to be using my Etsy shop anymore because... I'm just constantly paying for pictures and nobody's coming to it. So, I want to say if you guys are interested interested in this, my email is in the description and we can talk and I will sell it, of course, and it will if I, you're interested in it, my purchases will be going through PayPal now for now. So, now with that said, I will have Daisy's YouTube and Etsy shop in the description. And again, it is Tsunami Rose Designs, uh, TsunamiRose.net. So guys, please go check her out. Give her some YouTube love. And thank you for watching. And to my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.